This is Total Telecom TV with Joachim Horn at the Huawei mobile broadband event in London. Joachim, we're talking about uh, vendor support for 900 megahertz on LTE. Uh, tell us about your, your position on that. Yes, uh, I'm happy to do that. When, we, uh, when Tele2 wanted to launch uh, LTE in Sweden, we made a decision to go with 900 megahertz, which was quite unusual because everybody said, go 800. But for us it was better to use 900 because it was the same frequency of for GSM. And uh, against all odds I have to say we were very successful to, to get the device vendor support and today we have more than 50 devices uh, which support 900 megahertz and I have to thank also Huawei who was one of the first uh, companies actually to supply one of the devices. And you've got 99% coverage, so you must be getting something right. Yes, and this was the choice of 900 megahertz could build on the existing GSM coverage, and therefore we already beginning of this year we are happy to were happy to announce that we have 99% coverage. Now you're also a promoter of voice over LTE. Um, how are you planning to utilize that in the network? Voice over LTE brings really big benefits for the end user. Number one, the call setup times will be much shorter. You will be able to connect to your other side within one or two seconds only. And the second is the voice quality will be much higher. And uh, that will enable really hi-fi fi kind of feeling when you talk to your other side. And that means you, you have a better convenience around your call. And the, the, the third thing is actually for operators, it's also cheaper to use voice over LTE because you can make use of the very efficient way to transmit data of LTE. Do you think uh, HetNet is now viable? I'm not a big promoter of HetNet uh, as the buzz is quite big around. But I have to say, small cells is a tool in your toolbox in order to cope with high traffic situations. But the biggest challenge in order to make that work is to find a solution for how you get the site how you get the power, how do you get the backhaul. And that's for small cell in headnet environments as complicated as for big cells. As long as we haven't found sufficient and economic solutions around that, it will not really grow, but uh, I'm convinced that within the next one or two years we will solve that, and then we will see much more coming in. Now, you guys have got a great reputation as being early adopters. Now, that usually means a lot of expense that goes with it, yet you're also very cost sensitive. Yes. How do you manage to marry those two things? Yes, we are actually a low cost operator and we provide always the best deal to our customers. That's our tagline. Now, LTE combines both a fantastic user experience and much lower cost per bit. And as the consumption per user is exploding, we have within two years, we have five times more data in our network. We needed a technology which enabled us to give a fantastic experience to our customers without the need to increase prices. And LTE brings that. And this is the reason why we can be innovative. How, how, as we get to a world where you know, there's more and more connectivity, how do you see your business changing and evolving? I think we are an enabler for fantastic communication for our customers. We are a connectivity provider and we must give our customers really a good experience. And this is the reason why we invest in technologies as we do in LTE. And we are just at the beginning of the capabilities of LTE. The next years will bring more speed, more capacity and even better experience. So for example, I think we will see much more video coming to LTE and since we are much more efficient, we will be also able to transport it. Higher resolution pictures, higher resolution TV will be also possible via mobile. Uh, fantastic news for, for our customers. Brilliant. Well, thank you for sharing that with us today. Pleasure to do that.